college athletic landscape is changing with name, image, and likeness. And we here at the University of South Carolina Athletics Department have been strategically planning for this moment. When we started embarking upon name, image, and likeness, we really wanted to be intentional with how we built this. We wanted to build a good foundation. And so we partnered with Altia Sports that would be able to come in, educate our student athletes, educate our staff, put together our policies and procedures as it related to name, image, and likeness, and be a resource for our student athletes. But we knew we were gonna to have to bring others in to be able to walk alongside of our student athletes and provide them all of the opportunities they can to maximize name, image, and likeness. So we are bringing in influencer that'll help in the social media portion of the student athletes name, image, and likeness. We are also bringing on a company called Compass that will help us with all of our disclosures and reporting. And then we are also going to partner with our university and colleges that can help bring experts in to teach our student athletes what it's like to negotiate a contract, what it's like to create a brand, how you work in front of a camera and present yourself, what tax implications you may or may not have. And we're also partnering with our alumni to develop brand ambassadors, people that have graduated from this great university that are going to come back and give time to student athletes to help them throughout this whole process and make them better overall students when they graduate here with a degree from the University of South Carolina. This topic of name, image, and likeness has some known knowns, some known unknowns, and lots of unknown unknowns. So what don't we know? What corners are gonna, or do we have to look around to make sure that we don't put our athletes in a bad position? And here at South Carolina, we, along with the administration, have been very, very strategic about how we're going about unveiling and, and going about these programs, as opposed to trying to do it all at once. And again, it's just the long-term approach, which is ultimately gonna pay dividends and put South Carolina ahead of other schools because you're thinking in the long-term as opposed to the short-term. From the Gamecock Student Athlete Promise to the Gamecock Sports Science Network, the Carolina Degree Completion Program, the Beyond Sports Internship Program, and our Gamecock CEO Program, we have a history and culture of putting our student athletes first at the University of South Carolina. I want to make sure that our student athletes understand and take advantage of all the opportunities that NIL can bring. I'm proud of our student athletes for all of their many accomplishments and I look forward to them being able to take full advantage of everything the new name, image, and likeness rules will bring. I consider it a part of our education mission in the athletics department for our student athletes to understand how to market themselves to be the CEO of their brand.